it's a brutal sport. It demands so much of you physically, and you kind of learn as you go. She'll have a rehab protocol that's going to strengthen her hand, and it probably won't flare up again. And unfortunately, you have to kind of go through it in order to figure it out. And eventually, you know, hopefully she'll have a whole routine ready to go and where she'll be able to withstand a whole season. Yeah, she had a press conference yesterday. I think 16 questions. It was something like 58 words of response. You never know what somebody's going through. Obviously, today we find out that she's injured and, and not able to play the tournament, Andy. But uh, now outside of the top 100, 101 in the live rankings, potentially could need a wild card for, for Wimbledon coming up later where she made her big break breakthrough a couple of years ago. What, uh, what do you think is in store for Emma in the future? Yeah, I have a sneaky suspicion that she might just get that wild card into <laughs> Wimbledon. Um, I, I, it's it's been a strange uh, deal since the U.S. Open. Uh, obviously, the expectation set that comes along with it, kind of coming out of nowhere, coming from qualifying to all of a sudden being a global superstar is a lot to ask. Uh, the thing about these injuries is there seems to be a lot of stop and start. There's not, uh, it, there, there hasn't been an injury that's kept her out, let's say, two or three months at a time, right? So it's always kind of been the stop and start and a week here, a week there, but never actually taking away uh, a big chunk of time. So hopefully that's still the case and we're not dealing with something uh, more serious. Uh, but, I mean, listen, we're, we're coming up on a couple of years since that U.S. Open victory, and I thought uh, Riley's uh, definitely right with you have to be able to learn the ins and outs of tour, but we're almost two years on from, from that now. So you hope she's getting the right advice on how to go uh, about the program, not just with the wrist and not just with this exit from Madrid, but about the January through November, how are we going to pace ourselves? What are we going to play? What surfaces am I best on? Uh, I, I think it's really hard to boil the ocean. So a focused set of advice is, is something that, at least outside looking in, and what the hell do I know, Steve? But uh, it, it seems like she's getting a lot of, there are a lot of voices in the room, and it doesn't seem uh, super focused. But we hope she gets back and healthy because uh, she is a superstar.